welcome to my Talkity Tea Tuesday. I'm Amanda, so I will be posting these videos on Tuesdays, and I will have tea with me. And if you're wondering what tea I'm drinking, um, it's mango iced tea. And can can we appreciate this big old yellow sunshine mug? Because it's so beautiful. I love tea. So in today's Talkity Tea Tuesday, I will be talking about 12 steps to self-care. And you know, I decided to do this video because a lot of people uh, have asked me, how do you stay so positive and so um, happy? I have my moments, sometimes I feel a little sad, sometimes I feel a little mad, but I, I overall try to control all my feelings and just let it go. Um, I'm very emotional. Yes. Um, <laughs> but overall, I try to stay positive and happy because, I mean, it, life is awesome. I mean, I'm I'm living in the moment, and it's it feels good. It's good for my health. Yeah, so I'm just trying to stay positive. I mean, I've had so many downfalls, and it's just I don't like that. I don't like that area or to be in that area. And I'm just like, okay, now I'm gonna be happy and positive, and we can do this. And so I that's kind of my mentality and I do have a video on how to live in the moment if you haven't watched it I will post the link down below and um, this is and that's how I live in the moment okay so number one um, if it doesn't feel right to you don't do it you know go with your gut feeling if you you know someone else might be doing it but if it's for you um, and you don't feel right doing it or comfortable doing it just don't do it and you have that power to walk away and don't let anyone stop you um, you know just do what's right for you um, number two say exactly what you mean if you like something like it if you like someone tell them um, if you're not feeling happy that day and you always are I'm just saying that you are not um, feeling like usual it don't hold in your feelings and I know there's a point where, okay, you have to kind of put yourself together a little and some situations you do have to, but um, just kind of express yourself, you know, if someone doesn't like something and you are, because you're that fear, of you're too scared of saying something because they might not like it back and, or they, or you might feel like they will judge you, by all means, say that you like it. It, um, you know, everybody has their differences and their likes and stuff, so don't feel pressure that you can't say what you like or you have to lie about something that you like because they were like, ugh, I don't like that. But like what you like, and to me personally, I don't believe in guilty pleasures. If you like something, you shouldn't feel bad about liking something. So, like, oh my goodness. You love cupcakes? That is so bad for you. Huh? I don't eat cupcakes every day. I mean, I wish I could in my fantasy world, but... But I'm not gonna deny it, you know, just because someone, it's not their lifestyle, and they don't like it, I'm not gonna say, well, um, well, I don't like it, and no, I, I love cupcakes, and I'm not gonna deny it. Yeah, to some people, you know, you, you know, sugar, and the, you know, you gain weight because of the bread and stuff like that and yeah but to me I really enjoy it so that was a huge explanation but <laughs> can you just tell how much I love cupcakes yeah and number three um it kind of goes ties into number two don't be a people pleaser you know how I said oh because if someone doesn't like something you have to say, oh, I don't like it either, to please them. Don't please them, you know, because of the YouTube and there is movies and entertainment and you just kind of feel the pressure that, you know, you have to do, kind of please them. But don't be a people pleaser. Never put yourself um, second and then first. You have to stay grounded in who you are and don't lose that. And if you, you know, if you love to make people laugh and you love to entertain, by all means, go for it, and that's what you love to do, do that. Don't ever let anyone stop you from doing that. But also stay grounded to who you are. And if that's a huge part of you that you 
I love to make people laugh and you know have a good time and stuff like that. That's that's totally okay because you're staying grounded to who you are and what you love to do. Don't be in that situation where you're putting other people and you're doing stuff that they want and you don't feel right about it and you don't want to do that. Um, so that's in a way like don't be a people pleaser and I mean you can't please everybody. Number four, trust your instincts and it kind of ties back to number one. Uh, go with your gut feeling, you know, trust your instincts and be true to yourself and really listen to your voice. Um, but try to not let the doubtful voice come in and kind of overpower you, but know that, okay, no, I don't, it doesn't feel right to me, I'm not going to do it, or I do want this, I'm going to go for it. Um, so, trust your instinct. Number five, never talk bad about yourself. No matter what the situation is, nobody's perfect, everybody got flaws, and I know everybody now these days are like, hashtag flawless. <laughs> yeah, everybody has their flaws, I have my flaws. Don't talk bad about yourself because you're going to start thinking more of all the bad things and all the negative things and you're only going to focus on that and you're not going to focus on your strengths. Strength number six. This is one of the important things for me and I always tell people um, and I've seen this a lot happening around me and it's, it's, it's kind of, come on, keep going, but don't give up on your dreams. Don't ever give up on your dreams. You have that dream because you imagine it and it makes you happy when you're thinking about it. So go and live your dreams. And if it's not out there, you don't see it out there, go with your imagination, your instinct, and go for it. I mean, you will be the, you probably will be the first one to do it. So that's even major props to you. So don't, don't ever give up on your dreams because of something. There is always a way. And sometimes it does take a little bit of time. I mean, I have taken a, quite a few time where, you know, with my business. Uh, I'm a photographer, so, you know, I finally have my office and, and it's in the works. But it's taken me a while and to really push it out there and do it and go for it. Um, but I'm doing it and it's making me happy. And I'm not doing something else that someone else wants me to do because they think that it's right. So never give up on your dreams, no matter how impossible it looks or, yeah, but know that your dreams will come true and go for it. I got your back, I, you got my support, and you can do it, so go for it. Number seven and number eight. Number seven, don't be afraid to say yes. And number eight, don't be afraid to say no. Don't be afraid to say yes, I love this. Yes, I want to do this. And don't be afraid to say no. No, this doesn't feel right to me. No, I don't like this. And I mean, you can, there's a lot more different ways. Um, but and do what's right for you, like I said. Um, but don't be afraid, you know, because no is usually reflected as a no, like a rude and negative. But you have the power to decide to make the choice. Do I want this? Yes. Do I want this? No. So just make a choice and just know that you have the power to choose that. And don't be, don't feel like you don't have that choice. You do. You are the master of your life. And yeah, I mean, there's a lot of other things that come into life. Um, life is not easy. It's simple, um, but it definitely isn't easy, but it's wonderful. It's very, very wonderful. So number nine, be kind to yourself. <laughs> always be kind to yourself it when you are kind to yourself and you talk good about yourself it's um, not in the cocky way or um, conceited way but the more in the confident way but just be nice to yourself you you're 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 gonna grasp onto that energy and it's gonna you know your what you thought was really bad or your flaw it's or your insecurity is it's gonna be less down in the dirt and it's gonna be more acceptable to you so be kind to yourself best things you can do for yourself uh, so yeah number 10 let go of what you can't control a lot of times 
we can't control a lot of things. Um, you can't control the power of um, in the now. What do you want to do now? And uh, what are you thinking and your feelings? But you have to learn how to let go. So just let go of what you can't control. Never, I will never let you go. Actually, yes, I do, because then I have to get some more tea. And if I if I don't let go of it, I, I can't pour myself. Unless someone pours it for me. But there's no one here, so... Yeah, I have to let go now. <sighs> Number 11. Stay away from drama and negativity. And yes, there's people that love drama. And there is... There's good drama, like I said, entertainment and stuff, but there's that bad drama where it's just like, oh, girlfriend, mm -mm. It's, it just starts this conflict and no, get away from it, just walk away, you have the power to walk away, so, you know, if you, if you see someone, I have been in an area where there's just so many people talking negative stuff and I didn't like it and I didn't feel comfortable in that. And I just walked away and I had my own little place and little zone and um, it's actually very good and you know just people people want to talk people can say their stuff but just just walk away it's it's something it's a really good thing for you to do and um, for yourself I'm going to talk about number 12 and that's the the last but very important one too and I have gotten this a lot before and I'll explain that a little bit more right now but number 12 is love yourself and no not necessarily it's you you love yourself and you are selfish or you're conceited or anything like that I mean as long as you don't put everybody down or feel down about themselves Yes, you can love yourself, and if you do want to focus on yourself, that is not a bad thing to do. And like I said, if people talk bad about you, that's something that you want to get away from. Um, all the negativity and the drama. So, you can love yourself in the confident way. And like I said, you do have the choice to say, yes, um, I do love myself. And no, not necessarily it's you or you're cocky and um, conceited or whatever. No. Um, I mean, I love myself. I've gone through a lot. I've judged myself a lot. I, I was mean to me. Yeah, I was mean to me. Uh, mean to me. Uh, so, and I just finally just said, you know what, no. I only have this one body and this one life. And to say, you know, I love myself. I've gone through so much. I've been through uh, so much with myself that I'm just like, I, I don't want to do that. It's not... It's not healthy. I love myself. I love who I am. I love who I become every day and continue to be and I still learn. So um, yeah, don't be ashamed to love yourself and uh, go for it. I hope this helped you out. So if you want to see more videos, you can subscribe to my channel and you can like it or you can unlike it, this video. I mean, you have that choice to say yes or no. If you don't like it, I'm not going to feel bad. Until next time, from my heart to yours, wishing you lots and lots of love. You can follow me on my Instagram, my blog, and my Pinterest. I don't have a lot of social media because I just have two way different things going on. I have my photography business and then I have this, so it's a lot to handle. So uh, I try to just... But Instagram, you will find me on Instagram. And until next time. Bye. I can actually have soup in here too. It's that big. Like now, everybody decides to come and stroll on that. I mean, actually, you probably go here and here. I mean, it's kind of a good thing. Hmm. Should I start buying cupcakes every day? Yeah, I totally blanked out. It's one of the best. Best.